shares of SCOMI Group, SCOMI Energy Services and SCOMI Engineering have been suspended for a corporate exercise involving all the three entities. In separate filings to Busa, Malaysia, the three companies say the suspension of trading was due to a pending announcement. Trading in all three counters was halted just before 3pm and will resume next Tuesday. SCOMI Group has a 65.6% stake in SCOMI Energy Services and a 72.3% stake in SCOMI Engineering. SP's 30th second quarter net profit came in 8.4% higher as it handed over more residential units for its Battersea Power Station project in London. Earnings stood at 136.3 million ringgit versus last year's 125.8 million. However, revenue dropped 21.6% to 794.7 million ringgit from about 1 billion a year ago. This is due to lower income from its property development, construction and other operations. It declared a dividend of 4 cents per share. For its first half, SP Satir says it recorded sales of 2.1 billion ringgit, half of which came from the domestic market. Moving forward, the group plans to focus more on mid-range landed properties, especially in the Klang Valley, citing strong underlying demand for such units. Post Malaysia's first quarter earnings were up 19.1% due to inclusion of the newly acquired logistics business, plus the strong growth in its career business. Net profit stood at 37.9 million ringgit as compared with 31.8 million a year earlier. Revenue increased 47% to 611.6 million ringgit from 415.9 million last year. Its chief Mohammad Sukri Mohammad Saleh says the better performance was driven by the inclusion of revenues from Post Aviation Group that was completed in September 2016, which is part of its strategy to be transformed to a fully integrated logistics services provider. On top of that, Sukri says its career business also saw positive growth as a result of higher volume of career items delivered. Post Malaysia expects its traditional mail business to remain challenging due to the structural decline in mail volume. But it is positive for the remainder of FY 2018 as the recent sentiments, both global and domestic, are supportive of the growth of e-commerce. Cicera plans to roll out some 10 billion ringgit worth of properties within its 200.6 hectare land in Semenye, Selangor. This is under its proposed diversification from Tao Manufacturing. Its MD Zulkanin Arifin says the company plans to work with a prominent property developer to undertake a mixed development on a track located about 8 kilometers from the Semenye and Kajang town centres. He says development plans will be announced in the next six months. The project is expected to spend 10 to 15 years. Kerjaya Prospect Group's unit has backed a contract worth 442 million ringgit from the JV of Penang-based Aspen Group and IKEA Southeast. Kerjaya Executive Chairman T. Eng Ho says this is the group's biggest award of this year and is first with the Aspen Group. The project, called Wertu Resort, is the first high-rise urban resort-inspired residential development in Aspen Vision City, a JV between Aspen and IKEA. The project spans 200,000 square feet of space and will comprise five condominium blocks consisting of 1,246 units to be built above an eight-storey car park podium. The construction works will commence on September 4 this year and is targeted for completion by November 4, 2020. It represents Kerjaya's sixth contract win for the year with all totaling 868 million ringgit. <laughs> 